Hello friends, this is Chuck the Book Dweller coming at you on a gloomy Sunday evening here in uh, the big city by the river, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, got a little book haul stack here. I got three Holy Grail finds here, uh, which I'll show you last. And then our musical spotlight for today is Napalm Death. So this is a brutal edition of the Book Dweller book haul. Um, so I've got some more books in the background for more hauls later on. I've been dying to go to the bookstores, believe me you. But I have not ordered a single book off the internet as of right now. Uh, I'm more into the hunt, the find, the joy of it all, being out and about. Uh, I no, no, rarely ever take a book list with me when I go to bookstores. I mean, it, some things may be in the back of my head, but sometimes the coolest things are the things you don't expect. And if you have low expectations to start, it's all a winner. So I've been driving around today, out in the rain, around town, out in the country. Uh, I usually post stuff on uh, the Book Dweller Instagram page every day. Books, magazines, CDs, albums. Something's always going on there. So if you want to come over and join the Book Dweller's Instagram page, that'd be awesome. So I think we'll get right into it because fairly decent stack here. And uh, no order at all. To the books except for the last three so please stick around for that you'll dig it um, if you're a fan of this channel or my instagram channel uh you'll know who this guy is they're all three books by the same author so stick around for that so let's just get into it willy nilly hillbilly uh this is one called apache number 15 blood rising by william f james william m james uh, i don't edit my video so pretty cool we're going to put them down here. Hopefully the stacks won't fall. This one is still in plastics. This is called The Goblin Reservation by Clifford D. Simak. Got some glare going there. A little science fiction for you. Uh, this is kind of a silly one I picked up. This is Airport 77. Movie tie-in. Uh, just to let you know, the Black Cat Jinx is, is hovering around. Here, the, the door's closed, so you don't hear the rest of the family unit. So, But Jinx is right down there on my side, so if he jumps up, like he's doing now, he'll have a cameo. This one I actually got for free. This is Wild Card by Gene Simon. A little rough shape, but I don't mind. What do you expect for old paperbacks? This one kind of falls in, I guess, the sci-fi. Um, one of these days, I keep saying it, I'm going to do an Edgar Rice Burroughs author spotlight but this is I am barbarian I think I've got every Burroughs book I'm not sure uh, we'll stick with the sci-fi this is called Gollum 100 by Alfred Bester got this actually at an antique mall close when they were still open next is James A. Moore rabid growth or another pretty cool cover Next is, this looks like a oldies, maybe a paperback from hell, I don't know. Jeffrey Godden, Blood of the Wolf. Pretty cool cover. Next is, God, I, I, had this, I think I got another copy of this somewhere. Dark Forces Anthology. You can probably see the big time names there. King, Bradbury, Edward Gorey, that's pretty cool. Robert Block. Tons. Kirby McCauley. That, that's, that's kind of an oldie standard. Next is a Del Abyss book. Very cool. Um, Heart Beast by Tanith Lee. I've got other Tanith Lee stuff too, but that'll wait. Of course, I'm always on the lookout for the old uh, Del Abyss books. This has oh, a little step back. Pretty cool. Jinx, get out of here. This is science fiction Moonbane by Al Sarantonio. Got some of Al's other stuff. I even got a western of his somewhere around here. There's that. Let's just get it over with. Jinx cameo. Da -da -da -da. Hi, everybody. Get out of here. Hillbilly. Uh, next is a point horror book, Demon Number 2. 
the demon glare number two. Next is Nancy A. Collins, Sunglasses After Dark. Vampire novel, Sonya Blue, I think is the name of the vampire. Actually got a chance to meet Nancy Collins years ago at a horror convention. I think it was the one in Atlanta years ago. Next is another anthology, which I have the hardback of this, and I have other copies of this one, but I enjoyed this one when it first came out. Stalkers. You can see some of the big-time names. Kuntz, Coin, F. Paul Wilson, Lehman, Williamson, Lansdale. Holy crap. Stalkers. I'll, I'll show the hardback in, in another video. This one is a perennial favorite. I, I don't know how many copies of this I have. I Am Legend by the master Richard Matheson. I still need to do an author spotlight of his, too. I'll get to him. This is one I found pretty cheap, I believe. Uh, the Wicket by James Newman. There you go. It's an oversized paperback, whatever you want to call it. Trade paperback. Pretty cool cover. Pretty clowny. Next is... What my personal favorite historian who I was lucky enough to meet before he passed away. This is Howard Zinn Speaks. Collected speeches from 63 to 2009. Hardback. Haymarket Books. If you don't know who Howard Zinn is, this is a good chance to look him up. Then you'll know why I am the way I am. <laughs> Could might take a little more than that. There's Howard Zinn, my hero I got a chance to meet. Um, this one is a book. It's not a horror book. Um, it's actually a, a war book. But I had looked for this thing for a good 10 years. Easy. And uh, I finally found it in hardback. It's Mi Lao. A report on the massacre and its aftermath. It was an incident during the Vietnam War. It was actually a turning point. Um, it by Seymour Hersh, investigative reporter. So there's an old picture of good old Seymour. I have a couple of other his books too. But this one in particular, I, I have other books about the incident, but that's the one I wanted. And I'll be damned if I didn't find that thing. So, yay, I <laughs> I forgot about that's kind of a growl. Um, here's a, a book about politics by one of my favorite people, uh, Jesse Ventura, Shit Politicians Say. So that could, that could you could make that into a thousand pager. <laughs> but I have all, I think I have all of Jesse's books. Um, here's one my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law actually gave me. I can't remember what it was for. But this is Ghost of Cincinnati, the dark side of the Queen City. So that's pretty cool. Next is a hardback by a Cincinnati writer who happens to be a good friend of mine. Um, this is Chasing the Wolf by Nathan Singer. Nathan Singer is also a teacher, and he also has in blues bands and metals band. This is a great dude, great poet, great writer, man. A plus stuff. This is one I can't remember whose pay whose uh, video I was watching. Could have been Edward Lorne, and this is one I normally wouldn't pick up, but I found it cheap. This is called "Made for Love" by Alyssa Nutting. That's normally something I wouldn't pick up, but I found it and thought, what the heck? Uh, Edward Lorne has steered me in the right direction a couple times, especially with David Joy. I'll always be grateful for him for that. So, Made for Love. Pretty cool cover. Next is, I have not read any of his, but everybody seems to love him. This is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I think we have Good Omens around here somewhere, but I think that one's one my wife read. And we started to watch the show, but I didn't get to stick with it. But Neil Gaiman. I guess eventually I should get around to him. Uh, I'll save that one for last. No, uh, I've got a handful of uh, westerns. This is Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. I thought I'd give him a try because my buddy Todd the Librarian loves this book. So I actually read a Larry McMurtry book. Um, the hardback back there on them 450 pagers. Um, so we'll see. And then we have The Watcher by Robert Kamen. Western. Uh, my wife and I watched this movie the other day, so I found this cheap, pretty cool Shane by Jack Schaefer. 
I really enjoyed that film. I know I read this probably in high school. Pick that up. This is one. Giff or Jeff Cheshire. Night Riders. I don't know anything about that one. And my buddy at work realized that I like westerns. I posted these on my Instagram page. He gave me uh, some Louis L'Amour books. The High Graders. And this one's in rough shape. The Saget Brand. Taggart. Conniger. I've never read any Louis, Louis L'Amour books, but Lonely on the Mountain. So that was, that was my buddy Jack at work gave me those. So that was very cool. Very nice thing to do. Uh, it looks like we got some sci-fi stuff coming up here. Robert A. Heinlein, Assignment in Eternity. I haven't read any Heinlein yet either. Uh, this I just find this stuff. Who I can't remember where I find this stuff. Millennium by John Varley, hardback. The Computer Connection by Alfred Bester, hardback. Uh, Beast by John Crowley. Crowley. Pretty cool. Don't know anything about. Don't know anything about it. Found it. Bought it. Showed it. Um, here's one that po some people were. Hours of the Dragon. The Weird Works of Robert E. Howard. Volume 8. In hardback. Very cool hardback. Um, the Hour of the Dragon by Robert E. Howard. I like this. I like that. I like that cover. Let's see if we can get the wrapper on there. Very cool. Um, one more sci-fi book. The Gold. I got this when I found that Gene Simon book. The Golden Helix by Theodore Sturgeon. Hardback. When I was a kid... I actually read a book called Ice Station Zebra by Alistair McLean. And something made me think of it the other day. Uh, I thought, man, i got to find that. One of these days I'm, I'm going to look and see if I can find that, Ice Station Zebra. Um, not only did I find that, I found this hardback of Alistair McLean books. It's got in Where Eagles Dare, HMS Ulysses, Ice Station Zebra, When Eight Bells Toll, and The Guns of Navarone. So I found this big hardback. I think this was 10 bucks. So I thought, you know what? That solves all my problems right there. So that was a nice find for me personally. Um, get into little history books. Lions of the West, Heroes and Villains of the Westward Expansion by Robert Morgan. Okay, that's, that's a big one. And the last history book is Nathan Philbrook. I have one of his other books and this is about the Mayflower. And then, so this whole weekend, I've been driving around, just looking for something to do, keep from going stir crazy. I've been listening to orchestral orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Uh, it's weird that I like metal and punk, and but I love uh, OMD. And when they came here last year, it was one of my favorite shows of all time. And they had for sale and got this book. Actually, Betsy got this book for me and my wife. It's this great big book all about the history of OMD. I know that's a bad angle, but just just this fantastic book. So that was a, a wonderful present from my wife, Betsy. Thank you, Betsy. And thanks to Betsy for posting these videos because I don't know how to do it, and I'm too tired to learn, and she hooks me up on all this stuff. So yay, Betsy. Now, before we get to Napalm Death, I've got these three awesome books that I've had for a little while, but they were in plastics, and I never got around to showing them. But now I'm going to show all three of them. Just for you guys, thanks for sticking around. But you all know who this guy is between our videos and Instagram. This is a hardback from Bloodletting Press, Bloodletting Books called Vessels by Keelan Patrick Burke. We all know who he is and how great he is. But check this one out. Number 142, signed, numbered, Vessels, Keelan Patrick Burke. Fantastic. Number two, Keelan Patrick Burke. 
This this is another good one too. This is mid listers. There's the cover. Keelan Patrick Burke. And let me get this round. This is signed by Keelan Patrick Burke and Keith Minion. Who did the art? This is this is number 17. So how cool is that? Um, this is Biting Doll Publications, 2007. So two hardbacks signed and numbered. And the third one I found, I found these all at the same place. And this is a Cemetery Dance edition, which I've been showing Cemetery Dance magazines on my Instagram page. This is The Hides hardback by Keelan Patrick Burke. Cemetery Dance hardcover, number 372, signed and numbered. So those are my three kind of holy grails there that I wanted to share with. I was kind of holding those back for the right occasion. I was going to split them up, but I thought, bam, let's let's hit them hard. So our musical spotlight, Jinx, one of Jinx's favorite bands, <laughs> is Napalm Death. And what I did is I took them all out of the CD packages because the plastic is just awful glare. Except for this one. This was a digipack. And this is Apex Predator by Napalm Death. And as per usual, uh, no order in these Napalm Death CDs. Um, I'm just going to show them to you and be done with it. Well, now that I have them out of the package, I can't hardly read the covers of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Time waits for no slave. Yeah, that glare's not too awful, but with the, when they're in the cases, it's terrible. This is Utopia Banished. Enslavement from enslavement to obliteration. For anybody who doesn't know uh, Napalm Death, they're definitely the, the Grind Kings. Um, they started a whole new thing. I think it was. They were very influenced by Discharge, from what I understand. But Shane Embry, their bass player, is one of my favorite dudes. He's done so many side projects that uh, I've been trying to keep up with him, which is difficult. And this is Fear, Emptiness, and Despair. I think this actually was a Columbia Records. So they, they hit the big time at one point. This is Scum. Wounds from the ex, uh, Words from the Exit Womb. What a great knit. What a great title. Punishment in Capitals. And the last one I have is Inside the Torn Apart. And I just realized that I have a double 10 inch record downstairs in my record collection, which I'm not going to go get. It's, it's too much, and Jinx is keeping guard. So that's it for now, everybody. I hope everybody's being safe and sound and reading a lot of books um it's been it's it's I, i've been working uh, i'm grateful for that but i'm like everybody else man i want to go out to thrift stores i want to go to bookstores and i want to go see my favorite cincinnati reds but i'm patient i just want everybody to be safe and healthy and you know we'll get through this madness uh, everybody hang in there don't go stir crazy don't go nuts um thanks everybody who watches the videos who subscribes who checks out the instagram page Thumbs up to everybody. Hang in there, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye, everybody.